so happy that we have got a new model from Stability AI that is a 3 billion parameter model for coding alone. All these models are like 40 billion and 70 billion and you know 13 billion, 7 billion. It's quite hard to run it on a low resource hardware, but we have got a new model from Stable Stability AI. It's called Stable Code. And Stable Code is a 3 billion parameter model. And I really appreciate when companies release smaller models keeping everybody in mind. So in this video, we're going to break down what is this model and what are the models that they've released and how you can leverage this model for your coding purposes. To start with Stable Code. What is Stable Code? Stable Code is, uh, is a new model from uh, Stability AI. They're calling it the very first LLM generative AI product for coding. I don't know why are they calling it. We have already got a Repellent model. We have got a wizard LM coder. We've got a lot of models, but um, anyways, they wanted to call it the first LLM generative AI product for coding. Maybe they just want to say that it is from Stability AI. Anyways, I'm like quite perplexed looking at all these press releases from this companies that have raised funds for open source products. Every time everybody releases something, it almost feels like a breakthrough. I mean, it is helpful, but doesn't necessarily mean it's like completely radically new. Anyways, that rant alone. So this product is designed to assist programmers with their daily work while also providing a great learning tool. Okay, cool. This is all PR stuff. So what is this model about? This model, Stable Code, is a new model that has been built on Stack Dataset. If you have been following the space, you know for sure that Stack Dataset is a dataset from a project called Big Code. Big Code is a project from Hugging Face. So somehow this was all intertwined. So Big Code has built a dataset called Stack Dataset. This was also used for Star Coder, which is another model from Big Code. So Stable Diffusion, uh, Stability AI, I just keep on saying Stable Diffusion, I'm so sorry. Stability AI has used this data set and then created a new model called Stable Code. And uh, it has been trained on diverse set of programming languages. After this, this was the base model. After this, this was further fine tuned or trained on popular languages like Python, Go, JavaScript, Java, Java, JavaScript, C, Markdown, C++. One, they literally used the stack data set. Two, after that, they also used all these popular languages and further trained, like trained extra. So in total, they have trained the models on 516 billion tokens of code on their own high performance computing cluster. This is really good because this shows the versatility of the programming model, the language model, and it also shows probably this model might have the biggest coverage in the programming space for this size, like for a 3 billion parameter model, this might be one of the biggest coverages that we have seen. After they have got the base model, they have also instruction fine tuned another model for specific use cases to solve complex programming tasks. How did this instruction fine tuned model come into picture? They've used 120,000 code instruction response pairs in alpaca format that has been fine tuned, like that has been used to fine tune this model and that model is also available. So in short, Stable Stability AI has released three models. One, they've released the base model. Second, they've released the instruction fine tune model. Um, and the third one, they have released a long context window model. So that long context window model is a model that you can use to do context length up to 16,000 tokens. Like it can go up to 16,000 tokens. This is quite amazing. Now, all these models are available on Hugging Face Modeler. The first one is the 4K token model, the stable code completion alpha 3 billion 4K. This model is released on Apache 2.0 license. That means you can use it for commercial purposes as well. There is no need for you to sign up or there is no need for you to sign any terms of services. All you can do is take the model, do anything that you want. Do it with Apache 2.0 license. This is use the stack and also, you know, uh, the, the top programming languages from the Stack Overflow Development Survey. So this model is intended to do single and multi-line code completion. Just remember, this is a base model. This is not an instruction fine-tuned model. That means it can do code completion. It can do the next word prediction. So it can do the code completion, single or a multiple line up to 4K tokens. That's what it can do. So you can literally use this model. This is already integrated with transformers. So it's very straightforward for you to use it. I'll develop, um, I'll make a separate tutorial where we'll cover how to use this model on Google Colab and other systems. But this is straightforward for you to use it. This model is built on top of GPT Neo X and this has got Apache 2.0 license. These are the model details. 
The second model that they've released is called a uh, stable code instruct alpha three billion. As the name suggests, this is an instruction fine tuned model. Now this model has been released with a weird license. The license that they're calling is called, um, it's called a stable code research license. I honestly don't understand this companies making a new branch of open source licenses. I mean, you either have a permissive license or you don't have a non-permissive, like you don't have a permissive license. It's a non-permissive license. But now there is a lot of these nuances, like, you know, there is a rail license, there is hugging face license. Now there is a stable code license. It, it just, it confuses me a lot. Uh, I think it confuses a lot of people. Anyways, you have to accept the terms of services for you to use this and you cannot use this model for commercial purposes. You can use it for non-commercial, you can use it for research purposes. This is an instruction fine-tuned model, which means you can give instructions. For example, you can say, write a Python code for um, Fibonacci series, then the model will do a code for Fibonacci series. You can do that. That is the instruction model. And the, the third model in this series is a completion model, but that can go up till 16,000 tokens. So you can see they have used another model and that is, a model that can go up till 16,000 tokens. You can see it can go up till 16,000 tokens. I think this is what a lot of people would be interested in, but um, you should always remember as you increase the context window, the hallucinations also can happen a lot. So this is how this model can play out. So, I mean, overall, um, these are the three models that they've released. Along with these three models, they've also released or they've partnered up with Hugging Face to release a VS Code extension or the VS Code extension already ha uh, happens to be there. And you can use this VS code extension and then connect with this model. But I think the way you connect is you have to add the hugging face token API, which is like, it's going to use the inference API in the background. So it's not necessarily completely open source. Even the people just keep on calling it like they want to support open source models. You are accessing open source model through hugging face API, which means ultimately the data goes to hugging face API server. But if you don't mind that you can definitely use it. So stable code is like a family of three models. At this point, we see one is a base model, which is a 4k model. The second one is like a long context window, 16k model. And the third one is an instruction fine tuned model, which is not with a permissive license. If you see how the model performs, it seems like it's doing good. And uh, for this particular family, again, like keep the 3 billion parameter in mind, because the idea, like I said, here is the number of people who can use this model rather than how good this model is. So if you've got the three base, base and instruction tuned model, everything is 3 billion parameter. The context window is like 16K one, 4,000 and 4,000 another one. And you can see good scores. Like if you compare this with a Repelit coder that came from Repelit, star coder base that came from big code as a project, you can see that in an open, uh, uh, open AI's human evolved benchmark, this uh, stable code, the completion model is doing pretty good, like pretty good. The pass one and pass 10. So this seems like a good model, but um, honestly, like these days, <laughs> I find it hard to trust benchmarks as it is. So probably we need to use this model and try it with like a couple of questions about how this model is doing. And then we'll see how this model is performing. Overall, I'm so excited. Like I started the video with, I'm excited that we have a model that is a 3 billion parameter model, not necessarily you need like huge GPUs to run this model. And the model is quite straightforward for us to use it. And the completion model, the single line and multi-line completion model comes with a permissive license, which means if you want to build something on top of it, you can do it with a permissive license. I hope this video was helpful to you in learning about stable code, the latest announcement from stability AI. If you have anything interesting, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy coding.